Alabama softball eliminated from SEC tournament with 4-1 loss to Ole Miss. The University of Alabama softball team's run at the SEC tournament came to an end in the semifinals with 4-1 loss to Ole Miss on Saturday. Two days after shutting down number 1 Florida, Ole Miss pitcher Caitlin Lee, 19-10, nearly did the same thing to the Crimson Tide, allowing just seven hits and one walk while throwing a complete game. With two wins in the SEC tournament, hosted by Tennessee Alabama, 42-16, likely will host a regional next weekend in the NCAA tournament. It came in ranked number 15 in the USA Today slash NFCA poll and number 16 in the ESPN.com slash USA softball poll. It's number 14 in the latest RPI rankings, which is a major factor in seeding teams. Hoping to also host, number 19 Ole Miss, 39-18, was 23rd in the RPI. The Energized Rebels, playing in their first SEC tournament semifinal in program history, compared to 15 for the Crimson Tide, advanced to face LSU on Saturday night. Key Decision with Pitchers The coaches went with different approaches regarding their pitchers. Alabama's Patrick Murphy opted for senior Sidney Littlejohn with maybe an eye on using junior Alexis Osorio, 21-7, 1.29 era, who threw 153 pitches on Wednesday, in the potential title game later Saturday. Littlejohn, 15-8, took the loss. Sophomore Mady Moore relieved her in the sixth inning. Ole Miss opted for Lee, who has started all three games in the tournament, including the 2-0 shutout of number 1 Florida. In three games, the junior right-hander has totaled 21 innings, 14 hits, 2 runs, 1 walk and 10 strikeouts on 331 pitches. Lee's string of scoreless innings ended at 17 innings, when senior right fielder Chandler Dare and senior designated player Marisa Runyon began the sixth with back-to-back -back singles, and freshman first baseman Bailey Hemphill singled in Dare. However, the rally fizzled and Alabama left two on base. Alabama left two runners on base again in the seventh, and stranded eight overall. Defensive issues plagued Crimson Tide. Two rundowns in the second inning helped aggressive Ole Miss take an early lead. Ole Miss slapped down two high hop infield singles in the first before making an out to set the tone. While Little John was able to pitch out of that jam, she couldn't in the second when the Rebels had two in scoring position with one out. Center fielder Miranda Struther, hitting last in the batting order, singled in second baseman Kylie Horton, with Paige McKinney sliding just ahead of the tag at home after Struther was in a rundown between first and second. Another rundown, this time off an attempted steal, scored Struther. Shortstop Sidney Booker hesitated before throwing to first, when the run scored, and second baseman Claire Jenkins was credited with an error when she dropped the subsequent throw. The Rebels' other run came on replacement first baseman Dakota Matico's solo home run in the fifth. It was her first home run of the season. Injury Update During his mid-game interview, Murphy revealed that junior 2B Demi Turner is still having some blurred vision and hasn't seen any live pitching yet. We're hoping, possibly, next week, he told ESPN sideline reporter Holly Rowe about Turner's eventual return to the lineup. Turner did pinch run, her fifth straight game doing so. Her vision issues stem from a concussion and orbital bone fracture on April 1. She's one of three Alabama players to have suffered a concussion this season, outfielder Maris Schroeder and more the others. Turner has been Alabama's best hitter with an .387 average, but no longer has the minimum requirement of two at-bats per game and having played 75% of her team's games to count as the team leader. What's next for Alabama softball? The NCAA selection show will be shown Sunday, 10 p.m. ET, on ESPN2.